Hi, okay, so the motor is currently running as you can see and the uh, Lovejoy coupler and the auger are turning. The system runs continuously, so it goes to high speed, low speed, back to high speed, blah blah blah, that kind of thing. So, what we've got again, now we've got a green light here, no trouble light lit, power light's on. We're in automatic mode, we're actually on this timer because we're not up to full temperature yet. So, now with that said, we're putting chips on top. notice there's nothing here. The system is, this is a suction based, suction based, I, I don't know if you can hear me because of the roar of the fire. This is a suction based system and you're saying well this is just a fireplace. No it's not. Because what we've got back here is if I take this cap off is you can see there's a flame in there and the flame is wood gas burning not the chips, okay? I wish I could get a good... There you go. Okay? There's air being admitted here. And that goes up in, and there's a manifold, a centered pipe with holes that are drilled, and then the whole thing comes down. From where the wood is, which is about there, to the fire port there is almost a foot. It doesn't need to be that high, it's just this configuration ended up like that. So I'm starting to build chips here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the fan up a bit. And you can hear the roar goes up a little bit. Because what's happening is the chips are actually starting to climb in height inside of here. And what I want to do is I want to keep kind of a status quo with the amount of chips that are in the pot burning. There's a small amount of small layer of chips on top that aren't. Inches of water column gauge. I'm looking up there and it says about one. That's a five-inch gauge. It's reading about one inch. The outlet water temperature, this is in Celsius, that's 25 Celsius, uh, which is what, about uh, about 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, that just happens to be over there, that's all. So, you can see the fire in behind that, I'm actually still building some chips, so I'm actually going to turn it up a bit more. That's about an inch and a quarter of water column sucking on this system. This is a triple pass fire tube boiler. So there's refractory in this tunnel here. There's also refractory in the bottom of the pot under the fire. And what happens is, is the, 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 the char evolves the gas because it's, so, it's such a fine detail in there, there's only about a quarter of an inch of char in there and the rest is raw wood chips on top of it. Because I'm admitting secondary air and I'm allowing excess air through this area here, what we're doing is, is this is actually what they call a close coupled gasifier. This is not an engine gasifier, but it could be readily made into an engine gasifier. I would simply have to seal this top section, not allow air in at this point take this air off and just put nozzles back on it. As you can see, you can actually see the fire burning around the edges there. And it's just slowly dropping chips on. There's a little bit of flame on this side. Not much in comparison to what's going on there. To give you an idea of what's burning in there, it's about the size of a grapefruit. Maybe somewhere between a navel orange and a grapefruit. So. Um, there's about 120 gallons of water on here and we're already at 28 degrees 
in that short period of time, 29 degrees, which is now, well, 30 degrees is what, about 105? So we've gone up.